Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some arena and we're back at it again playing some mono blue mill. Let's get into this again smooth, see what our hand is. Click, 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 click. Give me my hand. Come on now. Come on now. Uh oh, smooth is lagging. It's not my computer. My computer used to lag. Not anymore. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, there it is. Ah, hmm. Mm. Don't know if I want this. Don't really know. We can try to scry, scry two into a land, and then it'll be decent, but we'll try it. If we get screwed over, well, then we get screwed over. Uh, were we on the play? I forget. If we're on the draw, then this is a lot better. Alright, we're on the draw. Okay, hasty boy. Alright, alright. Uh, not exactly what we're looking for, but we're still gonna scry. And mill. Scry and mill. I think we'll keep the unsummon there. Get some replayability out of our Merfolk Secret Keeper and such. Another Street Tin Dodger. Dodger, Dodger. And a Spitfire. Okay. Passing. And. Do we want to run out Secret Keeper first? Yeah, let's just start the mill plan. We'll get out another blocker. Start dropping walls. And then we'll start dropping our Vantress. So when they get a little bit more empty handed, I don't want to set our Vantress up to just die. So we'll go wall, wall, wall. Maybe they'll be a little bit empty handed. Put out our Gargoyle, start sweeping the game. Hopefully we'll be able to pull another land to a Thought Collapse. Maybe we should have just taken that Unsummon and put it somewhere else, but... Ah, well. Unsummon's a good backup card to protect our Gavantress Gargoyle in the later game, too, anyway, so... Or just to get extra millage. Alright, so this is Mono Red Calvaclade. Uh, they have not gotten their Calvaclade yet, which is good, because we should be able to counter that if we can pull it to a land fast enough. Alright, I don't know why you're letting me do this, but we're definitely going to block the spitter. To start, I'm going to take care of my Overwhelmed Apprentice. Mm -mm, plus two, okay. Sure, that's fine, I'll trade that. Alright, let's just keep milling. And they get a 3-1 creature that can't block. Okay, good to know. Not like we're attacking, but, you know. Uh, no attacks. I want a land now. Really want to be able to counter Calvaclade. Gonna strike one of these things down. Light up the stage. Okay, two lands. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh well. Hmm, I'm almost thinking of putting down Vantress right now so we can block the knight and we can have unsummoned backup to make sure it doesn't die. Or do we want to just Thought Collapse? Mm, let's run out the Vantress, and we can block, since we have four cards in our hand. Because uh, later game, we won't have that. So, let's just do it this way. Keep up on Summon to protect it, and then we'll have our Thought Collapse to protect even further. Alright, 12 cards in the graveyard. 38, 37 more cards to go in their library. We're a bit of ways, but you know what? We're stalling them out quite a bit here. Ooh. Let's 
So we will unsummon the Torbran after we do our blocks. Block. Unsummon. And then we can set up to counter that next turn. Looks good. We get a free eat on the knight. And we stave off some damage for a turn. Good place. Awesome. Uh, we will now get on the attack. Start swinging back a little bit. Dang straight. And the turn. Drawing another land next turn would be excellent, because if we use our Thought Collapse, we can double wall of thoughts and just shut them out hardcore. See you later. I feel like we're getting pretty lucky here. Um, game 2 might be a little bit more challenging. We're, we're, these walls that we have are pretty nice against the Mono Red. Uh, but they usually have ways to just hit through us and over us for extra damage, like with Spitter and stuff like that. Counter their big things. There's a Calvaclade that we milled, which is excellent. Alright, well we can do Overwhelmed Apprentice into another Wall of Lost Slots. That's fine. Mill him again. Mm-mm-mm. I think this setup is fine. We'll grab another island set up for Into the Story, just in case. Probably play Ashiok next turn. Or depending on what they play, we'll just play another Wall of Lost Slots. But now we got them stonewalled. So, 31 cards left in the library. Actually about to go down. 27 left. I think this is a wrap. So they're going to go to 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is all good. This is all good. That's not good. Did she kill? Okay. This is fine. This is fine. They should start making these unblockable, but we've got two defenders. And they're just going to go in on it. Um, so we will definitely block here, block here, block here, block here. We'll take one damage. I don't know what they're expecting, you know? Okay, light up the stage and they find Vervent Champion. Not really going to do it here. Not really going to do it. Not even going to play it. Uh, yeah, let's play Ashiok. We'll just make sure they can't do anything else with it. Uh, but we have to attack first. Actually, I don't know why they're going to shut off our Vantress. We can't do this yet. Holy crap. <laughs> I almost just shut off our Vantress. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. I was going to attack their face anyways. And yeah, we shouldn't play Dashiok there. Uh, we should just play the wall, but it didn't matter. We had the game. Uh, negate. Brazen. Brazen's alright. Uh, actually, Brazen's not the best. It's pretty weak to removal. I think we'll just... I think we'll actually take out Ashiok. We'll keep in the Vantress plan. He has such a good defense. And summon Drowned Secrets. Didn't say please thought collapse in the story. All good. Do we want anything else? Transmutation could be good against Fervent Champion. Uh, the Thorbin. What else did they got in there? I don't know how necessary it is, though. I think the unsummons can just stave it off pretty well. Let's run it at it as is, see what happens. That's a good first match, though, for us. I think there's an argument to be made for bringing in the transmutations, but... That's eh, tough to say.
they just got a lot of 1-1s one anyway, so even if you make their creature 1-1, one -one, like a Thorbin, then it's just helping them with their Calamity game plan too. So yeah, it'll shut off his abilities, but then uh, you're just taking extra damage from him swinging in with another 1-1. One -one. This is where uh, So Tiny would be better. This is when we need So Tiny. And I still have to unlock it with my wild cards. But So Tiny is definitely a better card than this, because you just shut them down to negative attack and can't do anything. This looks great. Uh, so I think... I think we're gonna wait to do our secret keepers. We're just gonna, like, opt. I think we'll just opt, yeah. Um, and then we'll play Drown Secrets. Start getting this milling going really hard. Uh-oh. I don't resolve. I might actually just unsummon that. No blocks. Uh, should we wait a turn to unsummon? I think we'll opt. Finding a third land would be nice. I would love to keep that. We don't have a land. I think I'll keep it on top still. Alright, and into the story. Not exactly what we want to see there. We're going to get hit for... Probably three next turn, maybe four. We're gonna set up to unsummon the Steamkin though. Slow him down. Sure, sure, sure. Get him for three. One more land. Perfect. All right, so we can Secret Keeper. Start putting down a wall a little bit. Uh, I think the wall is more important here. Stave off a little bit of damage. Could be wrong in that. Could be that this is a turn they play Calvaclade and we need to Thought Collapse it. But I at least want to get one wall down. And then we're going to hold up on Summon. Uh, we're actually going to do it at their upkeep, I believe. I'm going to reset them. Did I put a stop at theirs? No, I put a stop at mine. Dang it. Well, that's actually a way better thing to just unsummon. So we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. And then we're going to set up to counter it next turn, just like we did before. Block the Steamkin. They could potentially kill off our Secret Keeper, but it is what it is. I want to remove this stop. Okay. Yeah, we just have to hold up Thought Collapse. We're gonna get hit for a little bit again, though, unfortunately. That'll resolve. Unfortunately, the Steamkin is gonna become a problem here. Mm-hmm. We're just going to stave off damage. We'll be able to play another Secret Keeper and an overall Apprentice next turn. Let's see if they actually go for the Thorbin. They're not. Okay. But we'll opt. Get some triggers. Uh, we're at 37 cards in the library left. Another Drowned Secret is nice. I don't know if we can survive that long, though. How do we want to run this? We're at 10? Yuck, this is yucky. We're going to get hit for 7. Ah, oh, man, this is a bad day. This is a bad day. We need another on summon or something. How do we set up for the win here? I'm thinking... I think we just have to put down an Overwhelmed Apprentice. We just gotta get blockers out. We're gonna be close to dead next turn. Thorbin is gonna come down next turn, unfortunately. It's unfortunate. But I, we're just gonna be in range of 
other things. Uh, we'll keep one of these on top. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think we're just going to have to play out the Secret Keeper blank. Not the most ideal situation, but we need the blockers. Scry one more deep. We already know the top cards will land. We'll mill for another two. Put them to 29, 27 cards. We get Liva rid of that. Uh, run away together is actually pretty great. And we kind of are going to need it next turn. So I guess we'll do it like this. I need. I want another land. It'd be ideal to get a land then this runaway together, but we won't survive an extra turn. Thorbin's gonna come down, deal double damage. Well, damage plus two, I should say. Making a couple things unblockable. Uh, damage to any target. Can't block those. I think we're going to chump block the Steamkin. Do it like this. Block. We're going to get hit for six. Oh. Ugh. Yuck. That is yuck. Can we even survive next turn? Barely. Barely. Unless they've got some kind of shock or something. What's in your hand? 25 cards left in the library. Lava coil. Oh, man. That's rough. See, we can't, we can't run away together yet. We have to throw the Torben back in, in hand. Have to. Absolute must. Yep. Make a couple things unblockable. Sure. How much is he? Alright, so we made those unblockable. Pass to the attackers. Swinging with everything. Uh, we're just dead. I forgot run away together. Yeah, we're just dead. We're just dead. We're just dead. I don't know what I was thinking with run away together. I was thinking like I could replay my creature right away like it was like... Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, we were just dead a, a, a long time ago, so it's all good. Even if we ran away together, we're still getting hit for however much, seven or whatever it is, so... I don't know why I was thinking like I could, in my head I was like thinking run away together, I'll just get rid of their creature and replay mine on the same turn, but that is not how that works. That's not how that works. Do we want to do anything different? Maybe there is an argument to be made that run away together isn't good just for the fact that we're removing our own creatures and we need them up for a defense. So two cans, mean it, man. Kasmina Transmutations is better. I wish this deck was fully complete. This deck is not fully complete where I want it to be. I need to go into my wild cards and see if I have enough to kind of clean this thing up. We'll play first. Okay, we'll keep. We can play everything in hand. We can double drown secrets. Start getting the mill going. We really need to draw into some more walls though. ASAP. Bam, 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 bam. I love the Thraben card. He is sweet. I really do like that card. I've pulled a lot of them, too. I've pulled, like, a whole playset of those. Uh, we will keep that negate. Don't think we're going to play it right away. I didn't have to bottom that island, honestly. So, yeah. I'm not going to hold up negate yet. I'm just going to start getting things set up. Again, argument to be made of attacking into the Fiend and just 
trading, but it's all good. I'd rather block like the street tin dot dodger or something like that. Fervent champion. Uh oh. Okay. So yeah, we're definitely gonna block here. That's that's fine with me. I don't really know why they did it like that. All right, we're gonna take another hit here, but setting up these drowned secrets is gonna be crucial. We hit a Thraben. We actually hit a lot of good stuff so far, so that's excellent. All right, send it back to them. Then we'll start holding up counter spells with our double drowned secrets. Lava coil. All right, gonna get hit for two. Not a big deal. That's not bad. I guess let's get our aggro on. Since I used a lava coil on our on our dinky little guy there. Let's see what else we get here. Another Calvaclade. Okay. So we'll just keep negate up for a counter. Another lava coil, perfect. See you later. And mill him for four. Can't block, we'll take two. We're gonna even out this race really quickly though, like, really quickly. Let's opt now. I just wanna see what we're gonna get here. Jace. Hmm. Do we want Jace? No, I want walls. Not exactly what I wanted. They are down to three, 33 cards in the library. We're running out of cards here. I would love to counter a Thraben. Or a Calvaclade. That's a good counter. We're going to mill him for, what, seven here? This is good. This is good. Alright. Mill him again. 25 cards left. Gonna take two. We're racing. We're racing. They got three cards left in hand. Ah, oh, that is unfortunate. This is gonna be a tight game. Tight game. We'll just keep this in hand. Say it's a counter spell. Hopefully Thraven doesn't come down. Steamkin is fine. Uh, I'm not worried about Runaway Steamkin. Uh, that's not good, though. That's not good. So we're going to get hit for four. Oh, man. Didn't say please. Okay. All right. 23 cards left in the graveyard. They need to kill our gargoyle, gargoyle or it's all over. We've got different... Didn't say please for protection. I'm pretty sure we can survive this turn. Yeah, we won. Oh, yeah. That would be a big please. Didn't say please. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Let me make sure I'm countering this correctly, and we'll be okay. That is a big no to the Thraven. Give him the GG. That's a tight game. That was a really tight game. We're taking... We go to one. Wow. Great game. Great game. Woo. Beating Mono Red with Mill. Let's uh, forget about the bad mistake with Run Away Together Game 2. But Game 1 and Game 3, nailed it. Nailed it. Leave a like if you enjoyed that video. And make sure to subscribe for more Mono Mute. Mono Mew? Mono U Mill. I've been enjoying playing it. I know a lot of you guys have been enjoyed watching it. Uh, I still need to clean up the deck. I know. I just don't play Arena enough to get those wild cards and grind it out. I just don't have time. But uh, that was a lot of fun. Mono Red Calvaclade getting wrecked by Mill. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next video.